Let's go. This weather really sucks. Look at this. I was gonna go out. Can you guys actually see that? I'm pretty sure you guys can see it. It's all raining really bad. Ooh, look on the street, you can really. Oh, the bird's like, must get to shelter. Yeah, it really sucks. It's raining pretty hardcore right now. Uh, I'm heading out. Oh man. I can't bring you with me because you're gonna get wet and then you're gonna go. And I'm like, oh, there goes 600 bucks. The camera. Yes, you are quite expensive. All of you carrying you around like this. You cost money. Uh, I'm gonna go and get an air rifle for the cottage. We're heading up this Friday to my buddy Jeff's cottage, who was I was in uh, Cuba with. Oh, some of this rain's coming in here. And I didn't realize they're so expensive. I was gonna get string in arrows for my hunting bow, which I don't hunt, I just use it for sport. Cause I watched Hunger Games, I'm like, I could do that, that looks like fun. And it's a lot harder. But I do enjoy it, so I don't know. Maybe I'll still get it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna get the BB gun though, because and they're actually or air rifle. They're expensive. They're like, you know, the one I'm looking at is like around 300 bucks or whatever, and that's then you got to get a case and you got to get the pellets and blah blah blah. I'm like, whoa, that is tray expensivo. I think it would be cheaper to get a string and some new arrows. Maybe I should do the both. I don't know. I thought it'd be fun for the kids and myself to. To do that anyway I'm gonna put you guys back in there I was gonna take you out here and then I was like ah it's raining and there's no way I'm taking you guys out here look your hair will get ruined hey eh? all this humidity in the I don't want your makeup to get ruined or your hair if you guys well unless I was gonna say it's just girls but hey if you're a guy and you put makeup on who am I to judge am I right am I right weirdos that's your new piggy bank right there don't drop it because that's like ceramic and what's yours you in Hulk. The Incredible Hulk! Put, put your money in me! Hang on, hang on, let's oh. you have to go find that. Uh, no. Try solving this. <laughs> it's it, near impossible. It has a... I'll try. Well, I, 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 no, that's made of ceramic, dude. It has a secret password. The only way how you can get it. Yeah, I've got the secret password. It's called a hammer. Smash! No, there's a thing in the bottom. Oh, there is? I had no idea. You're then good, you thank goodness. Password, Mom. What's Where's that? Liam's? Oh, right here. Where's yeah, Liam? Are yeah. you coming downstairs? Yeah. And get a shirt on? Because yeah. you seem to think this is like a stripper house. I like to walk around in my gitch. Oh, look at yours. Be careful. Look at that. It's a gold plated wait, okay, grenade. Wait, 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 there. It's not very big, but it's cool looking. No. Well, you put your money in here, and at the bottom is the rubber stopper that you pull all the money out from. Hulk! Crap! Hulk poo his pants! Super! Oh, I didn't show you guys this, too. What? No, I'm not showing all that. I'm not interested in that stuff. That's their teacher stuff. Here's my bow, people. I brought this, and uh, they didn't have any strings, so I'm not bringing it to the cottage. And then I bought this bad boy. Look at this sucker. Oh, shoot. Oh, eh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, people. Just be patient. Eh. There. So this is what I bought. This is an air rifle. Look at this thing. It's like 22 caliber. See, this is regulated for, I don't know if it's Canada or Ontario. In the U.S., you can get them way, air rifles way uh, more powerful and faster than that. But for here, uh, to not have a license, it has to be no higher than 495 so they max it out at that. And we're only hitting paper targets. Like, I got some of these paper targets for the kids. So, you know, we don't need it super powerful. And then I got a case for it. And even though I know it's just, it's just a, an air rifle, I still did get a trigger lock for it. I don't want to be, you know, you'll shoot your eye out, kid. So that should be fun once we set that up. I wish I, I was going to get some arrows and string for that, but they're like, oh, it's going to be about a week. I'm like, yeah, that's no good because I'm heading for the cottage, you know, this weekend. And they're like, 
well, if you order it now, it'll come in next week. I'm like, I'm not sure if you actually understand anything that came out of my mouth. Seriously, I was like, okay, uh, I'm just gonna leave now because you are apparently confused. All right, so I took a, I shot the rifle, just a couple of shots, just to make sure, because I read online, someone was like, I couldn't even cock my rifle, you know, like, uh, load it or whatever, like, get the air in it, because it's a, it's an air rifle, and what you do is you, you cock the barrel, like, I'll show you when we were up at the uh, cottage, but you take the barrel, you crank it down, which puts a lot of air pressure in, the, in like, a compressor area, then you load the little pellet, then you cut, bring it back up, and I, I shot it, out there like into the into our wall like I, I'll show you there's nothing dangerous out there there was no one out there and of course boots escaped which is my fault because I'm a dumbass but you can see just out there and then I put I put right right on top of the bench there I put a a, a can an empty can totally empty and then I, I shot it just to see if like the scope would work and I thought I missed it like I heard something and I was like like, oh man, it's like way off in terms of, uh, of adjustments. And because I shot and the, the can, the tin or the can, or whatever, didn't move and it was empty and it was this one here. But, uh, as you can see, it went, it went through it and then it came out the other side here. So it actually, I, I was like, oh, okay. You know what, those things can do a little bit of damage. I know it's just an air rifle. You don't need a license for it or any certification, but as soon as I shot that, like it must have gone through it so fast. And this is just like a tiny little pellet. It's just an air rifle. But the fact that it went through the tin can without even making it flinch, like I was expecting it to do, you know, you see in the movies, when you hit it and it goes pew, <laughs> and the tin goes flying or whatever. That's what I thought was gonna happen, but it just went right through it, didn't move, I'm like, Oh, huh, I, I thought I missed it, and I'm like, oh, okay. I do have a lock, uh, a trigger lock on it, so the kids, Ewan can't even pick it up. Ewan, wasn't it pretty heavy? Hey? Not that heavy. Oh, you're just saying that for the camera. Do you think you could stand there and shoot it, though? No, no, it's downstairs. Do you think you could actually shoot it? If it was, if I had, like, a, something else, a stand or something, what if I get you, like, a, a mini, a junior bow and arrow? Would you want to fire that at the cottage? A what? Mini, what? Can I have a mini pellet gun? Oh, mini let's not. Target? Yeah, we'll see about that. Maybe for your next birthday. Let's no! not. Let's not push it, buddy. You just got a mini iPad. I think that's good enough. I think Liam will be able to shoot this thing. Cal might be able to. It's even a little bit heavy for him as well. Ewan, unless I'm holding it for you, buddy. That's, it's way too heavy. That rifle is actually really, really heavy. Like, it's not quite as heavy as uh, Meteor Meat Wagons or Chris's R700 rifle, like the real one. That thing is heavy. This has got, like, a good weight to it. Like, it's a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. But it's going to be fun shooting cans and all sorts of stuff. Coming soon. Well, I'm going to bed. Pam's asleep on the couch, and I'm sure I'm going to wake her up just by talking to you guys, but... I have to go to the hospital early tomorrow because I have an ECG, an echocardiogram um, to basically they have to look at and check to make sure my heart's okay because of the surgery I had I think it was three or four years ago and I never went for my follow-up and for life insurance purposes they want to make sure that I have the follow-up because I didn't have it and I really should have so yeah that's gonna be tomorrow Tomorrow is a visit to the hospital. They're gonna listen to the old ticker and make sure that it's okay. I'm assuming everything is okay three years later or else I'd be dead. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. I think I'm gonna, uh, I tested the uh, air rifle out tonight. Oh, I showed you that already. Yeah, never mind. I'm tired. <laughs> I gotta go to bed. I told Liam I'd let him try the air rifle tomorrow too, so. We'll let him uh, give it a couple of shots. I gotta tune that the scope in and everything, so that'll be fun. Something to do tomorrow. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Squish your head.